All right, let's start with our warm-ups and relax the shoulders a little bit today. So, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down. Activate your core with those ribs towards your spine and up, lengthen through the whole spine. Take a moment to spread your toes, get grounded, and relax. Take a breath, focus inward. As you exhale, let the tension rip. And then inhale your arms to shoulder level for our warm ups. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers to the floor and lift your heart. Spread your toes and come pivoting it all the way over and relax. Spread your toes out, bring your hands up, straighten your knees and lift your sitting bones, get the legs stretching. And then bend your knees again, work your way back from the bottom of the spine all the way up and lift your heart. So a nice upper body back, then dropping the shoulders and relaxing. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment, feel that spine getting a little bit more activated. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So spread your toes and lift your heart, stretch the spine and pivot over. Get that back working. Bring your hands toward your head and lifting your sitting bones. Again, after moving your chin around a little bit, work your way back up and drop the shoulders. Stretch your whole spine, breathing and lifting your heart. Inhale upright, release your arms. And again, just focus on how that feels as that energy circulates more. Side stretches are next, so bring one arm down and the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push the hands away, and lean to the side. So make sure both shoulders face forward and you're not leaning to the front. Take a moment, stretching that whole side, foot down and hand away. And then inhale back up, release that arm. Feel the difference and bring the other arm down. Palm to the ceiling and over your shoulder. Keep both shoulders toward your waist and push the hands away. Stretch as you lean to the side. And again, maximize that with the foot down and the hands stretching apart. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale back up and release. And again, take a moment feeling those sides a little bit more stretched apart. Spread the toes, sitting bones down, and again, spine stretching for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Shoulders blade, shoulder blades and shoulders toward your waist, and crown toward the ceiling. Sitting bones down. Spine open and turn for the twist. Take a breath, exhale in the twist, coming all the way over. And deepen as much as you like, spreading your toes, getting the weight on both feet, and then work your way up. Stay in the twist and lift your heart. So remember, no pressure in your lower back while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest high. Shoulders down. Inhale to the top, exhale to the center, and switch your arms around, balance it out, stretch your spine, and turn to the other side. Another breath, and come on forward. And again, just deepen, lift your sitting bones, relax your whole body, and don't forget to breathe. And then work your way back up, and lift your heart, dropping your shoulders and the upper body on the way back there. Take a moment, adjusting and breathing into the mat. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, 
shoulders down, arms extended, and swan dive forward. Stretch things out as you get halfway down, and drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Pull in deeper, thumbs and fingers around your toes, big toes, and come into gorilla. Elbows, knees, spine straight. Take a moment and breathe, stretch it out, and drop your arms and roll up one more time. Shoulders back and down, and don't forget to breathe. So let's bring the arms to shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together, and pull the elbows back and fingertips together. Swing them up, around, and all the way back, well, as far as they go, and then back to the center. So elbows back, fingers stretching apart, keep the hands at shoulder level, the elbows at shoulder level, fingertips together. Swing up and all the way around to the back, as far as they go, and back together. And a couple more times, just starting to stretch that shoulder area a little bit more. And then once again, bring your fingertips together, palms together, and hands back down. Take a moment, feel the shoulders and our backs broken swimming. So get those shoulders rotating around, just feeling what's going on for you. And then both arms up, stretch one side, really get that shoulder opening up on the opposite toe, remember, put flat where you stretch. Release that one, do the other one. And again, just maximize that stretch along the flat-footed side. Reach both hands up, both feet down, shoulder blades, shoulders down. Swan dive, moving forward, stretch it out. And let's stay there pivoted, stretching those hands out and wrap your thumbs around your, your fists around your thumbs and turn one up and one down. So a little different angle for our twisty arms. So keep pushing out through the hands, tuck the chin in a little bit, stretch your neck, pull back of your body straight, knees straight, elbows straight, just rotating those fists back and forth. And then bring your arms into it and your shoulders. Really emphasize that shoulder motion today. Just get it really moving, pushing out, stretching. Feel the shoulders, spine, everything moving as you turn your whole arms. One up and one down. And then releasing the shoulders, just the arms, the hands, the fists. And then tightening the fists, pivot up, push out through the fists, push, push, push. And bring the fists toward the floor. And the fists stretching out. And then unfurl your fingers just gradually. Our National Geographic flowers moving. Push those hands out to the sides. Keep the shoulders down. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down. Stretch it out and shake all of your arms apart. And let's go to the wall. So coming to the wall, just standing in front of it. Bring your hand to the wall right in front of your shoulder, right hand and then turn the fingers to the right. Bend your elbow, come on all the way in, so that forearm is on the wall, and then turn your whole body away, opening across the shoulder. So the palm is pressing into the wall, the forearm is on the wall, and your whole body is opening toward the center of the wing. And just go as far as it feels okay, and then relax. Exhale. Let the shoulder area relax and then move maybe a little bit further 
toward the center of the room. And then exhaling, turn back toward your hand, fingertips up and release. See if that arm feels a little longer, and we'll do the other side. So hand to the wall, to the side, bring your body in, and the whole arm or arm from the elbow to the hand on the wall. And again, turn toward the center of the room. Get that shoulder starting to open more. Take a breath. Just relaxing. And then maybe turn a little bit further. So remember, always only go to your edge. Let it relax. And as it relaxes, maybe go a little further, but never force it. Just let it happen. And then again, exhale and turn back toward your hand, fingertips up, and release. Both hands down. Take a moment and breathe. And stand with one side to the wall, the other arm up. Remember, you can be using a door instead of a wall. And then just allow that arm to stretch. And then bring it a little bit behind you. And you have to move my plant. And bring it toward the one to one, one o'clock position behind you. And then the two o'clock position. And then straight back to the three o'clock position. And the four, the five, and the six. And then turn around and bring the other arm. And again, just stretch that whole side along the wall. And then back toward the 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, down to 8, 7, and 6, as we go. And then as you get everything back down, come on back to the mat. Take a breath. Hands together. So let's, well, let's bring the hands out to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then the hands toward the floor, pressing the palms together. You just feel that lower arm working a little bit. And then back to the center, to the front, and up toward your heart. And then pull the base of the hands out, fingers pointing toward you, and then lift your elbows a little as you push the hands more down toward the floor, if you can get them there. And then back toward you, and again, up, elbows down, shoulders down, and release. Just let those arms relax at your sides. And let's do another back stroke and swimming. Let those shoulders get a little more release. So feel the shoulders, just relax them. Exhale any tension. And then back again into mountain pose. So bring one arm out, bend your elbow, fingertips up to the ceiling, elbow bend with many injuries. Bring it into your middle of your body with the thumb in front of your nose and the fingertips flat toward the side. Other arm out. We'll do our eagle arms. So bring your hand under and see if you can bring the palms together or the backs of the hands. Again, the thumbs are by your nose. Pull the elbows down and toward your body. Feel that shoulder area. Get a good stretch. Exhale tension. Push your elbows away and bring your hands up. So feel what's going on across that upper shoulder area as much as it wants to go. Exhale any tension and then fly your eagle arms away, swinging them out and around. Feel the difference on the two sides. Yeah, so do the other arm. Arm out, bending the elbow towards your midline, right in front of your nose. Other arm out at shoulder level, swing it under, and again, see if you can hold the palms together, if not the backs of the hands. And again, pull the elbows down toward your body. Feel that stretch across the upper back. Exhale, let it relax. 
and then push the elbows slightly out and bring your hands up higher toward the ceiling. And again, feel what's going on across that shoulder area. Just relax it. Let it maximize at its own pace. Don't force it. Just breathe. Exhale. And fly away. And again, spread your toes, relax your arms, and we'll do that kind of variation on that again. So arm out, bending your elbow into your midline, wrapping your other arm around as much as you can, and pulling the elbows down and in, relaxing your shoulders out and up. And as you get into that up position, see if you can Rotate your arms to one side. Relax there. Breathe into it. And then back up and to the other side. And again, just breathe. Move only as far as your shoulders want to go. Exhale, relax it. And back to the center. And again, as you get back into your straight up eagle arms, elbows out a little more and up a little more. See if that works. Take a breath. And then bend your knees slightly. And whichever arm is on the top, bring the opposite leg up and over. You can keep the toes down for balance if you need to. And if you are balanced, you can put that foot behind you. And then on the legs. And fly your eagle arms away. And back in mountain pose, just feel your upper body, your shoulders, your arms. Oh, and yeah, we got to balance. So the other arm out. Fingertips to the ceiling, into the midline. Other arm out. Bring it under and see if your hands will come. And again, palms together or backs of the hands. Either way, pull those elbows down and in. Feel the stretch change. Exhale any tension. Elbows out, fingertips coming up. And again, just stretch as much as your shoulders want as you get into that position and relax. And then rotate, hands to one side. Feel the stretch. Exhale, relax it, maybe a little deeper, and then back to the center. And again, relaxing, move it to the other side as far as it wants to go. Exhale, relax. And then back to the center. Elbows relax down, and push them out, and maybe a little higher. And again, whichever arm is on top, bend your knees, Bring the other leg up and over for our eagle bodies. So it turns down for a little balance support or up, or wrap it all the way around the back of your leg if that's working for your knees today. Take a breath and release the legs. And again, fly your eagle arms out and a little circle with those shoulders. Exhale. And hands to your heart. Inhale, hands to the ceiling, a little upper body back bend with those thumbs behind you. And again, pivoting over all the way into ragdoll. Just hey, let those arms move around. Bring your hands behind your legs, tuck in, and get a good stretch. And then arms back to the center. Bend your knees and coming down into child pose. Hands next to you, palms up at your feet and forehead toward the ear. Get a good stretch on your neck and back of your body. Let the shoulders completely relax down toward the neck. And then sit up and let's just come into a cross leg position. Or you can go into a course step position if you prefer. And yeah, creature of habit, do your opposite leg position. So sitting bones behind you, let that whole spine support you. Core activated, shoulders relaxing right above your hips, and head reaching to the ceiling. 
Bring your chin into your jugular notch right at the base of the tree. Relax the shoulders. Let the back of the neck stretch. And then hands to your head. Just add weight, not pressure. And again, just let that neck get a little stretched out across that shoulder and upper back in. Take a breath, chin tucking in. Release your hands, tip your chin up, and then lift it, stretching your throat, shoulders down. Take a breath, just feel that stretch through the throat, move your jaw around. Feel it goes on through that neck and shoulder area as you do it, remember. Be in your yoga mind. And then tip your head back upright, bring an ear over toward one side. Relax and let the opposite shoulder stretch. Bring your hand, you're tipping toward up. Add weight, not pressure. Relaxing, giving that stretch going through your neck. Through your shoulder. Hand down on that opposite side if you want. Notice that that stretches it a little bit more. Exhale, just relaxing. And then releasing your hands, tip your head upright, switch your legs around, and of course, we'll tip to the other side. So go ahead, bringing your ear across toward the shoulder. And let it relax. Both shoulders stay down. And then the hand you tip toward, bring it up. Feel that opposite side stretch. Just wait, not pressure. Just let it relax. And then again, hand down. Feel the stretch intensify, maybe a little bit more. Breathe into it. Just exhale, let it relax. And again, release your hands and tip your head up. Feel the sides even more activated. Lift your knees, bring your legs out to the center. Stretch and breathe. And let's dive our dolphin. So bring your foot to the inner thigh, knee up to the side. And then the knee goes to the front, the heel back near your hip, not under it. So that hip is up. Letting you twist. Stretch your spine apart. Exhale to that first thing. Hands on your leg or the floor. Tuck in your chin. And bow down. Exhale down. Rotate your face forward. Feel that whole shoulder neck area change as you inhale. Heart lifting, coming up. And dive your dolphin a few times. Exhaling down and inhaling up, face to the front of the side. And the next time you're up, pause and turn to the center, releasing your legs. As you get back into staff position, feel the differences as we get ready to go to the other leg. Knee to the side and other leg bending down. Heel near your hip, not under it. Stretch the spine, turn your whole body. Exhale into your chest. Tuck the chin, round your back. Exhale down toward the knee. Face to the front, inhaling, heart high, coming up. Feel that whole neck and shoulder area stretch as you go through your diving diving. And again, as you inhale your way up, pause at the top. Exhaling to the center and release. And again, bringing your feet to the end of the mat in stack position. Activate that core. Come we'll roll to the mat for a relaxation. Coming down, just allow your whole body to sink into that surface beneath you. Hands, palms up at your sides, shoulders down. And let that whole shoulder area sink to the floor to relax. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale. Turn your hands toward the floor, palms down. Feel what that does to your shoulders. And then again, rotate those shoulder blades down as you turn your hands, palms up. 
One more time. Let the shoulders relax down toward the floor. Exhale. And just let your whole upper body soften and sink along with the rest of your body. Move your legs around, feet around, let them relax just slightly up toward the ceiling. And then rotate your head side to side. Again, just release that neck, letting everything relax into close position. Find you that neutral position for your head. Deep breath, just let your body go. As your body relaxes, just allow it to sink deeper into that surface beneath you with each exhalation. And allow your mind to drift, floating freely. No need to think of your body or any other thoughts. Just let them each go floating away without attention. And as your body sinks into that earth surface, you let it go. Allowing your shoulders to release, your body to relax, and your mind just to drift without awareness of the past or the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out without attention. And allow your attention to leave your body and your mind. Just floating inward, deepening into that contact with the peace within, filling your body and your mind with peace. And if your relaxation feels warm, as everybody just let it keep going as long as you have time. If it's time to activate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your head. Maybe your body, your arms, your shoulders, however it feels good for you to do it. And as you breathe more deeply, stretch more completely when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation. When you're sitting bones toward your heels and your heels up toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart, wrapping your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, and your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.